What do you think of all the YF coins that are blowing up? I got into YFFI yesterday. It went from 18 to 89 in less than 24 hours. Okay, uh, good question. So I have been hearing about all these different YFI tokens and coins, right? So for perspective, if you go here, right, we have Yearn Finance, we have D DeFi Money which is YFI2, we have YFI Exchange, and basically they're, they're all kind of just forking or taking YFI, which has now kind of become the, the DeFi, I mean the Bitcoin of DeFi, right? It's now top 25 market cap out of nowhere, right? Basically zero to 100 real quick, market cap almost a billion dollars. From zero to a billion in what, in like two, in like two months? In less than two months. I mean, that's incredible, right? Um, then we see here, we have YFI Exchange. This one I haven't even heard of at all. Um, the other one I wanted to, the other one which I, I have heard of is YFI 2, which is basically a Chinese version. This has a, this is already top 80 market cap rank. Uh, and its market cap is about 180 million. And this has been listed on, on Hubi, on OKX. All right, so what do I think of them? Honestly, I think Yearn is still king. YFI is still king. That's the one that our team has kind of gone through, done a deep code review on, and we think the technology is good. Fundamentals are improving. Now, in terms of the other projects, honestly, we haven't really just done too much research on them, but our understanding is they're just taking the same code base and just kind of changing governance or changing different things. For example, YFI 2, to my knowledge, is basically just a Chinese fork of YFI with different kind of tweaks to it. Uh, uh, Bill, uh, could you maybe kind of look into YFI 2 and kind of see how that's doing from a TA perspective? Now that, I'm sorry, it's uh, YFII or just YFI 2. Uh, so whichever one you're able to, to pull up. Okay, let me see what I get. Okay. All right, so so as Bill pulls that up here, uh, thank you for, for all the, the the feedback and the kind words. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet already. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Uh, we're on the, on the path to 10K subs. We have about less than 200 left, so probably, probably by Monday we'll be there. All right, so and as mentioned, I'll be giving away um, a free account access to the hardware plan. To, to subs so if you're if you subscribe to the channel we'll go through and we'll award uh, a winner okay so here comes um yfi2 okay so i i think in these small tokens the the ultimate is this like square consolidation pattern right and then it makes the triangle. So I don't really have price data on this, but if you have a triangle and a square, you can have a moon. Now this is kind of already moonshot, mm -hmm. right? And I, I would liken this to, it's almost like we're doing Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash and Litecoin all at the same time. Like we're just doing it all in the same week, right? Yeah, um, yeah. You know, this type of thing to me, when you start seeing this, like, you know, if we've got the real thing, an imitator, and then a Chinese based imitator in the same week, it's probably time <laughs> to take profits on it all. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's like, it's the, it's the ultimate, you know, the, the trade they've done a year's or two years worth of price action in a month. Right. And then you can get chopped up in consolidation period. So. You know, I think I think yearns great, but the question is, has the easy money been made or not? Is there more easy money? I, I would think this super easy money has been made. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Okay, so that's kind of our take on on all those different y, YFI imitators. So to kind of recap, YFI from a technology standpoint is is still the best. The imitators, yes, they may cater to a small niche. Um, and maybe the, the first one kind of has 
a uniqueness to it but once you have all these other ones i don't think they'll all do that well i mean they may, they may do well but i don't think they'll do as it's, it's kind of like bitcoin we had bitcoin then we had bitcoin cash then we had bitcoin diamond bitcoin silver bitcoin xyz to a point now people have just lost track of all these other bitcoin forks right people don't don't care anymore right you basically just, just have bitcoin and bitcoin cash right so i think the same thing with why you have yfi you have yfii and whichever whichever new one comes along it has to it has to really be groundbreaking and if it's groundbreaking it's probably different technology right so it would it, it would not make sense to give it the y yfii label right with that being said tell us what you think down in the comments below